Welcome back to another video, wherever you are, special greetings to you. And don't forget if today is your first time, please do me a favor by subscribing to the channel. Also, don't forget to hit on the notification bell whenever we draw video, you can also get it and watch. In today's video, we are going to be looking at how to get protection especially document through your questura, how to apply for protection especially document through your questura. So guys, without wasting my time, let's do this thing together. Yeah, as I said before, we are going to be looking at how to get protection especially document. That is a special protection document through your questura with the help of the integration that you have done in the country for learning the italian language for doing many many things as a, that qualifies or that makes you someone who want to stay in the country and your job so having a job and integrating in the country can help you get protection special document before it was not convertible but now protection special is convertible to motivo di motivo di lavoro that is a working permit so if you have a protection special you can now convert it to motivo di lavoro so today we are going to be talking about how you can apply for this document what you can even do with this document and what you cannot even do with this document but my advice here for you to get the protection special is to get a good lawyer because you can do the demanda by yourself or calf or patronato but not knowing or if you don't have anybody who know the new law that they have brought that you can apply for the protection special in your questura i don't think it's going to work but if you get a good lawyer who understands the new law about the special protection document i think by the end of the day you are going to get it with the help of the working contract that you are having the house contract that you have uh, the integration that you have made in the country it can also help a lot for you to get the document i took this one from refugees info i'll be leaving the link in the youtube video description if you have any question you can still go there and ask them and they will answer you but we are going to see how you can apply for this document what you can even use this document to do and as i said before with the help of a lawyer a good lawyer you can get this protection uh, special protection document so guys let's get started you can apply for the two-year protection special permit directly at the questura this is stated in a recent decision of the tribunal of bologna they said if the questura doesn't accept your application appeal with the help of a lawyer so uh, even if you try you say no me the, the demanda i want to try it myself because i have integrated in the country i have my working contract i'm paying house a uh, house rent i have all that estate to get this protection especially you can still try it by yourself if they did not allow you or if they deny you you can still appeal with a lawyer they said remember that you may also get this permit as a result of your asylum process if you are not granted international protection so if your asylum process you have not granted international protection and maybe they cannot send you back to your country sometimes they consider you to give you special protection document they continue to say they say when your case especially expires if you are still in need of a protection they can still give you special protection maybe you have cases special it expires you did not get all that it takes to convert it to another permit they can still give you special protection they said learn more here and then i'll be leaving the link in the youtube video description and now let's get into the main uh, article of the protezione speciale they said the permesso di soggiorno per protezione speciale was created by the Salvini decree in 2018. They said some major changes were then made by the so-called Decreto Immigrazione. So the new law, they have made some changes of the protezione Speciale, speciale, which you can now apply directly in your questura. They said effective as of October 22nd, 2020. 
They said you can use this article to learn more on. Now we are going to see who is eligible for this document, how to get it and your rights of the documents. They said who is eligible. This kind of permesso and protection is for those who do not qualify for refugee status or subsidiary protection, but who are nonetheless in need of protection. They said, according to the law, the permesso may be granted to those who, if they return to their country of origin, face the danger of persecution on the grounds of race, gender, sexual identity or sexual orientation, language, citizenship, religion, a political opinion, personal or social conditions, risks of being sent from their country of origin to another country where they may face persecution, risks of facing tutor or inhuman or degrading treatments because of systematic human rights violations in their country of origin. So these are the people who can also get this kind of document. Now let's proceed. They said according to the new law, the permesso can also be granted to people who may face breach of their rights to private and family life. If sent back to their home countries, this means that if you have family ties in Italy, you are well integrated into Italy's social life or if you have been living in Italy for a long time, you may be eligible for this permesso. Listen here again because I am very interested in this point. They said this means that if you have family ties in Italy, you are well integrated into Italy's social life or if you have been living in Italy for a long time, you may be eligible for this permesso. They said this does not, this does not hold true if the person is considered a threat to national security, public or health. In practice, legal experts don't yet know who will most likely get this kind of protection or at least not yet. How do I get, how do you get this permit? You could receive this permit so either as the result of your asylum application or after your permit so per case specially expires if you are not eligible for a permesso per motivo di lavoro. Maybe you were even changing your case speciality to motivo di lavoro. If you have not qualified, they can still give you a protection speciale. Let's continue. They said, as recently stated by the Tribunale of Bologna, you could also apply for the permesso per protezione speciale directly at the Questura. They said, however, the Questura usually do not accept this application. So you may want to seek the help of a lawyer. As I said in previous, that maybe if you want to try it by yourself, it's good, but maybe the questura will be doing you today, tomorrow, you cannot do. But it's better that you see a lawyer or you talk to a lawyer who knows much about this new law so that you can get the protection especially by a good lawyer. They said, how long? Does it valid for? Now we are going to see how long does this protection special document last or valid. They said when first introduced by the Salvini decrees, this permission was valid for up to one year. Since the new Decreto Immigrazione went into effective on October 22nd, 2020, the permission per protection special is now valid for two years. Oh my God is valid for two good years. How long will it take to get this document? Maybe if you request how long is it going to take you to get this permesso? They said uh, because this kind of permesso has been created very recently, we do not yet know how long it may take 
to get it you understand because it's a recent uh, law and that is why i'm saying you need to get a lawyer who understand this uh, law and he can fight for this document for you now let's see how you can renew this document they said how can i renew it you can make an appointment to ask to renew your permesso at the questura the territorial commission may renew your permesso if it decides you still meet the requirements listed on the who gets this permesso section if the commission does not renew your permesso you may be eligible for a different kind of permesso a lawyer can help you understand how to proceed in your specific case can i convert this permesso into permesso per motivo di lavoro okay let's see they said before this permesso could not be converted into work permit since the new decreto immigration went into force the permesso per protezione speciale can now be converted to a work permit if you meet the requirements learn more they said who is eligible to apply for permesso per motivo di lavoro what rights do i have as a holder of protezione speciale now we are going to see the rights that you have as a protection speciality holder they said with this kind of permit so you may have the rights to one work in italy you can work in italy but not in any other european countries you can work in italy but not in other european countries they said access the italian health care system you can access italian health care system with the protezione speciale document access the italian public education system if you want to go to public education or if you want to go to public school in italy if you have protezione speciale document you can proceed your education they said access in the italian public education they said stay in a reception facility as well as receive basic services at the reception facility your right to reception include foods and hygienic products they said you are also entitled to receive a medical attention social and psychological support they said register you can also register with the registry office of your local commune which gives you the right to get carta di the identità they said travel with the schengen area for a maximum of 90 days if you have your national passport you can also travel in the schengen area for maximum of 90 days and they said generally with the permesso you do not have uh, the right to so that is the if you are holding protection special these are the things that you cannot do one they say ask your family to join you in italy through family reunification according to the lawyers of cild i'll be telling you the full meaning of cild later in some specific cases you may be able to ask for family reunification talk to your lawyer who is the right person to advise you on this so family reunification is not that you cannot even do it maybe if you get a good lawyer with protection special you can still do family reunification travel back to your home country learn more on your rights to travel so that means you cannot travel back to your home country with protection special document they said mind if you receive protection special because you are well integrated in italy or you have family ties in italy you may be able to return to your home country we recommend that you consult a lawyer before making any decision about this got questions you can message us on facebook so if you get any question you can follow on their link and you will go and ask them questions over there the cild the full meaning is the italian coalition for civil liberties and rights italian coalitions for civil liberties and 
right so guys this is how the special protection documents be i don't know if you have understand something or if you don't understand you can still let me know in the comment section below and then i'll be leaving the link of refugees info in the youtube video description you can go and follow them on facebook and also try to ask them questions if you have questions and also try to get a lawyer to talk to a lawyer who also know this new law if he can also help you to get this special uh, protection special document that is a special protection and then after you can convert it to motivo uh, di lavoro and you are done so this is the update i have today on the special protection document that is the protection special as the Questura di Bologna has agreed that now you can apply by yourself through the Questura or with the help of a lawyer and my advice is with the help of a lawyer will help you the most if you get the video please do me a favor try to share it to a brother who may also need the video happy Sunday to you until we meet again in the next video please stay safe and stay blessed peace out